Hello and welcome to STEM for first grade. What we are going to do is quickly review the experiments that we are going to be doing and these all involve building model bridges. The first and simplest model bridge we are going to be building is a very simple bridge that involves a suspension uh, of the bridge itself or two pillars and so this is about as simple as simple gets and you can illustrate the concept it'll definitely be there in your presentation um, here this is a, a column bridge where one column and another column supports the bridge itself which is in the middle as you can easily imagine there are many stability problems involved and if you try to load a lot of cars uh, we may be given marbles or toy cars it doesn't matter you will see that the bridge starts sagging in the middle and the kids will see that as well. Well, how do we overcome the uh, load problems with a bridge like this? It's very simple. And here comes the arch bridge. And again, kids in class would be gluing these things together. So I'm kind of holding it with my hands to illustrate the concept. So the arch bridge, quite simply, is an arch on the inside. And the same bridge surface shows up on top. Now all of a sudden the load is borne by these two columns. In addition the load in the middle is being distributed along the arch and definitely there are many structures in Rome that have this concept. They perfected it hundreds of years ago and the kids in your class will also understand that this bridge is going to offer far greater stability and instead of just one arch maybe they can put two arches and it will illustrate the concept of how an arch bridge works. Uh, now, some of the kids uh, might want to do something completely off the uh, board and they may say, look, you know, our kit also contains a whole bunch of pencils. We're just going to lay the pencils out on a flat surface. There you go, that's a bridge. Well, if in theory it is a bridge. However, both sides are, you know, the same height. So a bridge is over something. And if they really wanted to build a pencil bridge, it probably would have looked more like this. Uh, then the question is, if you put a whole bunch of pencils and tape them, yes, it's a bridge. Uh, it, it, it's going to act more like a column bridge where there are two columns on the side. Surely you've figured out material which is strong enough to hold your toy paper, uh, but a pencil is unlikely to be the right element you want to use long term, so there are pluses and minuses of that kind of a design. There is a more elaborate um, bridge design that first graders will see as well, and that is the bi-level suspension bridge. So these spare parts would be two, four uh, straws and the paper, which actually will have the holes cut into it. So to assemble the bridge, the kids are going to thread the four straws through both pieces of paper. And here comes the bi-level bridge. Well, it looks pretty cool. And you can put tape to hold the paper together. Uh, but the real problem is when there is wind the bridge is going to shear so then the question is how are we going to keep the bridge stable along comes extremely strong steel cable also called as yarn and so you can uh, work with the kids to start tying yarn to the four pillars and maybe uh, taping the yarn to the side of the table and once you give stability to the four pieces of yarn all of a sudden now there is stability to the bridge and as Obviously, all of you have seen in uh, the Golden Gate Bridge, for example, there is even some ropes that go from one of these pillars to another. Uh, so the weight is distributed across the entire surface of the bridge. So these are in concept the three experiments uh, the kids would be doing. Um, there is, of course, the paper column bridge. And the paper column bridge would look something like this. Four columns, tape that on the top and let's have a contest of how much weight you can put on the top of that bridge. And uh, you know, the more than likely scenario is that as they load the bridge in the center, it is going to sag, so the kids are only gonna be able to put weights along the four pillars, but it'll teach them the concept of the column bridge not being the most effective design. Now you're gonna need a whole bunch of columns, and you saw how we did the arch bridge, the suspension bridge, and so on. Uh, your kit will also contain popsicle sticks, and if some kids want to go the route of uh, putting popsicle sticks on a piece of paper and taping that on, that's fair game. The, uh, the whole point of STEM is to not prescribe one specific solution. Clearly, none of these is a real bridge. 
the point is to teach kids that you look around with the materials you have and you make the best out of what you have and create the best solution to a problem that you have in front of you. After all, that is technology. It is something that uses science, engineering, and creativity to solve a problem that you have as of that day. Thank you so much.